got this hitch extender for the kayak but I noticed immediately that the steel would scrape the bottom I loaded it and it scraped it so I took a piece of PVC cut it in half torched it molded it around it and bolted it through so now the boat's plastic and it's sliding on plastic it'll be smooth to load and unload without fucking it all up I'm gonna load it now Side of your hitch, like this. This is why they put the grab bar on the back of these things. It's not for you to grab. You just set it up here. That's it. If I was fishing by myself, of course you got to take your motor off. With the motor would be much more difficult. Then you grab the front, pick up. That's it. You strap right here. It has a strap point, so I run a strap across here, and I run another strap in the back, wrapped around the transom hook here. It ain't going nowhere. I can drive to the keys like that. No having to bother with a trailer. Let me see. No messing with trailers. No nothing. I got my flag back there. Got another one on the tip. This thing is Key West ready. And then I don't have to deal with trailers and trailer registration, trailer life. Now I'm making a motor mount that goes in here. I saw it on YouTube. It wasn't my idea. But a piece of wood's going in here, getting bolted. Then another piece like this. And I can put my motor on there and clamp it down. And I'll keep it with a safety chain going down to the clevis that's in there. Just in case it falls. But yeah. I'm loving it. Ooh, -wee. hitch extender. You guys can buy these too for making runs to Home Depot and carrying really long lumber. That's all you need. Over and out.